Welcome back to the Georgian series where me and my friend Kuzak travel to Georgia to explore the country from a not so touristy POV. Because let's face it, the internet has enough of those videos. Now if you've missed out on the last episode, Kuzak and me rented a car and finally got out of the capital city heading to our first destination, Signagi. We chose to go there because it's located in the wine region of Georgia and many people don't know it, but Georgia is the oldest wine making country in the world. Now, on the way we found out about a special Georgian delicacy we've never seen in our lives called Churchella. If you're interested, click on the pop-up banner to see the last episode. And if not, let's continue. Afterwards, we arrived in Signagi and now you're up to date to the story. So let's go. After a two hour drive, we arrived at the guest house Kuzak had booked for us. The owner of the guest house was the loveliest babushka that had been waiting for our arrival. Fresh watermelon and homemade wine were waiting for us at the table, as well as a good conversation. Snake. Ooh, it's a snail in my snail? Yeah. Snake? Oh, it's snowing. It's. Then she went ahead and told us about the menu that was waiting for us that evening. And she even took our dirty laundry to wash as we were going to head into the town to explore Signagi, the city of love. Uh, what do you think of the kebab? It's great. It's more than great. It's fantastic. It's juicy. It's herby. It has spices. One of the best, to be honest. So guys, if you ever come to Signagi, come to Shio's restaurant. Roaming around town, we found out the city was quite empty and that the tourist season must have finished. We had a very good kebab and went to the bus station to see if there were any buses for wine tours for tomorrow, since we were in the wine region of Georgia. We didn't find a bus, but we did run into some local kids playing football. So we did what Dutch guys do, and that is join the football game. What is your guy's name? You speak English very well. <laughs> Kuzak playing hardball. After the game, we were very exhausted. But before we could leave, one of the kids still had a remark for Kuzak. So apparently I look like Donald Trump. Never heard it before, but uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe like his child or his grandson, right? Or like, or like the oh, like the president. Yeah. Yeah. I love Georgia. I love being with you. In the morning, we had breakfast with two new Spanish friends who stayed in the other room in Babushka's house. They were to leave today, but we decided we want to stay another night. Hola. Good morning. Hola. <laughs> Good morning from Spain, and we're having nice breakfast with a view. We received a text from two Canadians we met in Tbilisi, and they were on their way to us, so we decided we can do the wine tours together. You met some new friends. Hi! Hello, two Canadian friends. Hello. We made in the hostel, fresh in Signagi. <laughs> what are your names? I'm Chloe. Janet, we're representing all of Canada. Representing all of Canada, aye, aye, aye. Sounds good. Canada can drink. Yeah. <laughs> but doing the wine tours, we still had a problem. We didn't find a bus and we couldn't use our own car because we would be drinking. So we couldn't drive. So we told Babushka we didn't find a bus for the wine tours and she said her husband will drive us. And so we got into his car. On our way to an adventure. <laughs> How much y'all gonna drink? A lot. Everything. 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 Yes, Babushka, we're doing this for you. <laughs> we're doing this for you, Babushka. Oh, he's also driving like, like a rally driver. Yeah. Wow. 
Ojalá lobo, ojalá lobo. Hi. Good day here from the first place of uh, wine tasting. We're tasting uh, white wine. Do you guys remember the name of the white wine? No. No. But we should drink. <laughs> we should drink. But the rating, I would give it like a solid 8 out of 10. Ooh. 8 out of 10? Yeah. Oh. It's not so then we tried the wine from these traditional bowls and Here to me go. it was all fine. I'm not a wine expert. If you want to have a fully detailed review, you got to hit up the experts, Salud. Janet or Chloe, and they will tell you what the best wines are. Oh, this is good. Mm. If you fight with the troops. The amazing preppers we are, we all forgot to bring any water bottles or whatever with us to a wine tasting day. It was also super hot outside and the only thing at the wine tastings that they had, non-alcoholic, was this crazy grass soda. So we just had a very long swim. <laughs> Janet, what do you want to say about your swimming experience? It was so long and I swam so well. I'm going to be in the next Olympics, so watch out. Yes. You heard that, guys. Watch out, Canada's coming. And now we're heading to some kind of nice place. Yeah, I think it's a monastery. I think. We will see. So we finally made it after walking at least half an hour steep up. Tired. Tired. One person of our team already gave up. Yeah, okay. Jeanette gave up, but uh, Chloe is going uh, strong. And look at this, a Christian artwork with what seems to be the all seeing eye and hell, where you don't want to end up. So Kuzek, let's check out the monastery that has been built in the fourth century. After climbing up the hill together with Yarmo and Chloe, the views were so amazing as the sun was just about to set down. We had a wonderful time with Babushka's husband as our private driver. All praise goes to him. We would have never had such a rich day without his guidance. He dedicated his entire day for us to see the monastery, to have a swim and to visit multiple wine tastings. Now we're going to play some cards with, with Chloe. With Chloe, but Chloe is still pooping in our room. <laughs> <laughs> Janet is sleeping she's, and... Uh, she's farting all over the place. And uh, we're gonna say, we're gonna say goodbye. Goodbye, guys. The next morning was very emotional. We had to say goodbye to our babushka. Okay. She's the best. She's the best. She gave us so much wine and food. <laughs> you want wine? The best seat. So that other man is your husband, right? Yes. Okay. Ciao. Bye. Bye. <laughs> as much as we wanted to stay, we had a lot of places to visit still and limited time. So we left together with Janet and Chloe heading to the unique Rainbow Mountains next to the Azeri border. But that's a story for next time. And you know what I gotta say, Chalas.